this video, you know, again, is for my spiritual warriors, to my underdog immortals, you know. Don't ever give up. I don't care how many times you're back against the wall and they want you to fall, you will rise. It seems like it's been a long time coming, even though time is moving all so fast. I'm taking calculated steps because these demons are really desperate because their time is about up. So don't, you know, feel hopeless or worthless when they're ganging up on you. I was feeling like that a few times in my life, even recently. I kind of slightly, you know, guessed. Uh, don't know if I'm using the right word, but I, I was kind of breaking down in a way in that that little voice said, you know, you are the one, you know. You came here for a reason. And if you're breaking down, then how would that look when you're trying to lift people up? Somebody got to be strong. And whoever that this message may relate to, you know, I don't really do this for recognition. Part of the real reason why I wear the mask. I only want to speak to those real ones that's trying to make a change. But regardless of how positive, I understand, I get it. I understand how positive you try to be. Is all, you always seem to be surrounded by negative energy. You always seem to be getting attacked, talked down upon, frowned upon. You know, distraction after distraction. I had to learn myself and I'm still learning that try to block all that out and focus on your missions that it's at hand, your mission or your missions. Because some of us have multi-purposes of why we're here. See, you are some of the number one hated because you are the closest handpicked from the creator. You know, you made a vibe with the source. That's why they try to attack your voice, your physical, but they can never enslave your mental unless you allow it. I told you that what this content is about, you know, for the real ones that's been paying attention. It is to encourage, it is to speak about, you know, deep thinkers outside the box, you know, uh, what you would call extraterrestrial, interterrestrial, terrestrials, all type of different life forms because this is a, a, a spiritual war at the core. But again, it manifests in the physical. So just don't give up and understand that we always wrestling and fighting against things that are not flesh and blood, but it appears to be, you know? When you came into this avatar to come in this particular atmosphere, you gotta understand you are a soul and a spirit first. So you're gonna go through the trials and tribulations. You know, you're gonna go through all the people ganging up in the even community bullying and then conflicts with the family. You know, feeling like the outcast, you are the outcast. You are the hermit. But you also could definitely be social. You know, it's healthy to be social, just don't be you can't cut yourself off away from everybody and just, people can agree to disagree, but you know, I do feel like it's healthy, obviously, to be around people, socialize, even may go to somewhat of a party here and there every blue moon. Don't just completely, you know, separate yourself from people. And depression is a real thing. You know, I just call it demons. I call it bad spirits, you know, drinking all of that type of stuff. I've been through it and I'm going through it right now. So I'm encouraging you to stay strong. You know, I may not have this, I may not have that, but it's gonna manifest. And it's gonna manifest in your life. But it's not gonna come easy, especially 
when you have these gifts and these talents and you came here to fulfill and break all type of curses when you're dealing with these disagreeable entities. Even in the background, if you hear a lot of noise and some of you, if you, you working or whatever you're doing, them the monitoring ones. Some of your own family come on the form. They watching you, nosy, they monitoring. You know, you got airplanes, all type of different things and crafts in the sky and uh, cameras, et cetera, and the, uh, devices. So it's really no such thing as privacy. You know, if you got deep, dark secrets or whatever on your phone, there's nothing you could get rid of. You could delete things and still be, you know, it'll still be in your, however they could do it. So I'm saying all this to say, you know, go for it. Do not be afraid. Because yes, they are watching you. They are watching me. Those real ones that came to make a change. You have to, you know, love first. I feel like that's the first thing. Treat a human being, no matter what they race are, how they look, what they appear to be, if they're a good person, and even if they somewhat of a not a disagreeable person, if you know, don't judge them right away. At least give them a chance to, to let, unless you know, like they just you can't help certain people that don't want to be helped. I'm not going to keep over and over trying to help somebody that's not trying to help their self. That's not nothing I'm doing. But reaching out and trying to help others that's trying to help themselves, people that's not trying to pe put people down and bully people and think that they're better for whatever reason could be. You know, shout out to those real ones and I didn't say perfect ones. You know, Yeah, it's just, it feel nice out trying to enjoy the weather. I'm in the Midwest, so pretty soon it'll be fall and it'll be cold. So I'm trying to do more videos outside. And I just want to speak to those real ones. Because I know depression is real. Again, I've been speaking with a few people, and they kind of want me to be like a counselor or something. I don't mind listening as much as I don't mind talking, you know? It's the little things that help in a big way in life. Meditation, you know, dieting right. I'm not perfect, but I'm slowly working on it. I stopped eating a bunch of meats. I mean, it's, it gotta start somewhere, you know? So just don't give up, you know, just always know. And don't be afraid when people try to bully you or make, or put you in a situation to make you feel uncomfortable because that's the goal of these gang stalkers. And I don't even like to keep using these titles, but it's the only way I can describe it. You know, I'm going through it right now. I could be walking around. I like to get out on feet. I could be riding around in a car. I could be on a moped. When I move around a lot, when you see me making these videos because I'm doing the groundwork, the shadow work, you know, I'm, I'm facing demons head on, and I know you are too. And I'm speaking to you, to those real ones. Not perfect ones, but ones that's working on trying to be the closest to perfect. Because we got to remember, we still all are in the flesh. So, yeah. Just want to take a couple seconds. Give me a second. So don't worry about the gossipers, you know, that's talking down on you and lying on your name. You know, yeah, you're doing something right, but you may also be doing something, doing something wrong. Watch who you allow in your circle because they'll be some of the main ones that attempt to try to hurt you. They got the Judas spirit. But it's all a spiritual war, a mental war, you know. And I'm not here to have a whole debate with anybody if you don't believe in, you know, if you believe in a ghost, if you believe in all stuff like that, then clearly it has to be an afterlife. 
if you believe in spirits, if you see something supernatural in your life, I know I have a lot, voices, etc. I know as many people out there that have encountered certain things that just seem supernatural that let you know that life is much deeper than what we may know. That's why we all seek it. Seeking and you shall find. But you definitely got to search. And like I said, there's no such thing as privacy. Everything, you know, we're all being monitored. But like I said, those real ones, the ones that came, the ones that came, that's coming, the ones that's here, is the ones they really fear. And those, those generational curse breakers, those risk takers, those spiritual assassins, those warriors, you know, because they fear. Fear make people do fearful things. They're very desperate. You know, you got to watch them as much as they're watching you. But always remember, the watchers are watching them. And you don't play with the real anointed ones. And if you don't believe a person is not who they say they are, then go ahead and try. Like a blurred, I hope you can fly. But else is to my real ones. I'm in the vid, but... It's been a lot going on, but I still do this for the real ones. Even if it's the majority of haters, even if it's a few people that I can reach and can reach others, you know, I appreciate it. I do this sincerely. I could have had this mask off my face. I could have tried to always put up some type of viral moment. You know, shout out to those authentic ones. And I'm out. It's triple ones.